Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new house. If you saw my Twitter video, I did move to a new house. We we're in a different area. That's why everything behind me looks totally different. I'm in the process of moving in, uh, so we're going on with that. Um, and you might see some more things changing in the future in the background, um, getting a new mic. Don't worry about that. It's just the way that it's kind of going right now. Um, I'll try to stay consistent as long as I can with uh, putting these videos up as long as uh, my equipment is up and running and everything. And if it's not, I'll let you know on Twitter. Other than that, I have started live streaming again as well at this new place. I'm a, a, uh, I can do that. So check my Twitch link down in the description. I don't really have a schedule just because I'm, it's going to be pretty random when I go live. But again, that's going to be a thing. You can follow me on Twitter and get notified when I do go live. But Enough of that being said, it is Monday. Time for our Market Outlook video for this week. We need to take a look at the La Liga team of the season that is currently in packs. It's going to be going on this week. And, um, or excuse me, League One team of the season. I always say those two and get them mixed up. League One team of the season is going on right now, and it is Sunday night. And you know what that means. Sunday night is the time where a lot of these cards do get pretty cheap um, because people are selling off their clubs from the weekend league, especially this, this Dean Maria card is very low. He hasn't been under 500k this entire weekend. He's about 470 right now. Some of these tots cards have dropped a lot, but also some of the other special cards in the league one have dropped a lot as well. And I want to kind of talk about these cards going into the next week. Now, it's not going to be as easy as I think in weeks past. Um, because we have ultimate team of the season coming up this next week, which is going to be an interesting thing for the market. Um, they're going to be releasing a lot of these cards in packs. And looking at this this team right here, I'm assuming Mbappe, I'm assuming Neymar, are going to be re-released into uh, ultimate team of the season, and maybe even like a Pepe, depending on if they go by ratings or ratings per position. You might see like a Pepe, maybe even a Lala or a Furlan Mendy make it back into the um, ultimate tots on the bench or something like that. So I'm interested to see what happens for ultimate team of the season. And uh, we don't have to talk about that too much just yet. But I think that could affect some prices this week of these special cards. It could affect their rebound as people are really realizing, hey, into ultimate team of the season, um, we might have to sell some things because these cards are going to be back in packs. Especially watch your Premier League tots cards. I'm kind of going off on a tangent right now, but watch those Premier League tots and watch those team of the season cards that are going to make it in, like a Royce, um, like a Van Dyke probably as a center back, and then maybe even um, somebody like Hazard um, as well. Watch those card prices. They should drop heading into the promo this coming Friday, but then they should continue to drop um, throughout the rest of this week, the next week, as they're in packs. But we need to get back focused on this week. Um, Marquinhos... And I'm I want to talk about these League One special cards. Yes, I do think they're going to rise, but you're going to have to be careful with which cards you choose. Um, it's honestly going to be like a card by card basis this week. You're going to have to kind of look at which cards are rare and which ones have huge price gaps. Marquinhos has gone up a little bit, 124, uh, because his Tots card, which got a massive boost, is more than double the price. Very popular card, very easy to link players from this team of the season, especially because you have a guy like Thiago Mendes, who is a very good looking card, and he's kind of a middle of the road type card that a lot of people are going to pack maybe in their guaranteed or during upgrade packs this week. Um, so I like this card to keep going up the rest of this week. I would have liked to see go back down, but since he has that Tots card at 418k, I think he's going to continue to travel back upwards in price. Now, I want to talk about a big one. And I said this last week, Kenny Lala, he has not gone up in price at all this week. And he's been very consistent. He's gone from his usual rise, I guess. He's gone up a little bit, but he's back down to 190. I think this is going to have the same effect as Cancelo's ones to watch did last week. I think this card is going to absolutely fly um, throughout the rest of this week. Because if you're using League One players, there's a lot of French guys in there. Um, you're using Lala right back. Like if you're using a French right back, it is Kenny Lala. Um, let me get a little filter sorted here so we can look up these cards. But if you can see Lala around 190 or under again, I think that is a great shout. Like this card here, 196. If there's any open bids that you can get on, that's an Xbox price, 196. 
um, lower 200s for PS. But I think this card is going to keep going up through the rest of the week because it is the right back that you would use if you're going to build a team with these League One players. Now, I want to look at the Furlan Mendy situation as well. Okay, wow, he's up a lot as well. He has continued to go up in price. And that makes sense because his Tots card's 500k, this card's only 195. So he's going to continue to go up. That might be 220. 230k in the, in the next couple of days just because he has boosted up that much and this card is very good but in other than that the rest of these league one specials are going to kind of go on a card by card basis um, you can obviously see the ones that are really desired like the marquinhos um, and the mendy are going up already um, but obviously you saw the one um, with Lala, who's kind of stayed the same, but that's just because I think a lot of people invested in that card. Maybe a bit of over-investing going on with that one. Uh, Thomas Monier, Foot Birthday. This one interests me as well. He is PSG. He's got the links. I could see this card being a nice riser uh, heading into next week as we you know, hit the weekend league rewards for this uh, League One team of the season. And the next thing... That, that leads me into the upgrade packs scenario. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with upgrade packs. Shortly after this video goes live, we're gonna know what's going on. Um, so far, this this League One Tots has been, I mean, we got the nice OR SBC today. This is a very nice card. Four star, four star, great stats all around. He's short, but I mean, he's got a great stats. A, a, be an incredible center attacking midfielder, or maybe a left center mid um, in a French team. Um, but so far, this Remy SBC was, I mean, pretty underwhelming. That's a very easy SBC to complete. This, the Latin America Tots is cool. You know, it is what it is. The Pi, I think, is a bit overpriced for the three-star weak foot. Um, so there's not too much going on so far in this team of the season right now in terms of League One. I mean, you have the Awar SBC, which is cool. But we need the upgrade packs again to get started off for the rest of this week. And I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do. Because if you go look at the League One rares right now, this is where I had been telling a lot of people in the past, like, this is your last chance to pick up the League One rares. But these cards, again, are just so rare that they're, I mean, you have to pay like 1,500 coins to get a League One rare card. Even more than that? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, dude. People are going crazy on these rares, and I am, I'm not feeling it. I'm really not feeling it. Are they really up to 2k? Wow, these rares are almost, okay, like 1.8, 1.9. That is crazy that people are paying 1.6k for these rare cards and there's no SBC out yet. Um, I think they might change the SBC up this week. I kind of hope that they don't, but I think it is a possibility that they could. Um, just because the lack of rare players in the League 1. So that's what I'm most interested to see this week is if they do change up that SBC. And we're going to find that out today, of course. But then for the rest of the week, you know, market movements, I think there might be a little bit of, you know, panic selling throughout the week because of Ultimate Team of the Season. I know I mentioned that before. Let's take a look at some of these other Team of the Seasons and check in on them. Syria obviously, was last week. Ronaldo at 7.73. He has come down a lot in price. Oh my goodness. That is a major sell-off from this week and 7.7 .7 mil for that card. A lot of these cards are down. Nine Golan at 1.2. Wow. So a lot of these cards are coming down in price. Let's look at Premier League as well. But it makes sense, you know, because these cards are coming down in price because they have other cards that are coming into the game that can kind of take the place of those. And, you know, people might sell their Lacazette down at 1.22 to go try another French striker, um, like the new Mbappe card or, or something like that. The Sun is still holding strong at 2.3 mil. This card is crazy, 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 man. Ridiculous that it stayed that expensive. But again, watch some of these cards, especially for Prem Tots. Next week, the, the, the focus is going to be, again, on those really top-tier cards. I'm interested to see what they do with upgrades next week as well. But maybe a little bit more sell-off for some of these Tots cards in the next week. Now, some of them that might be on the edge, like let's say Erickson is somebody who might get into Ultimate Tots, might not. just depends on where they go with things. He is higher rated. Um, but you could see some panic sell on that card this week. He doesn't get into Ultimate Tots. Maybe a little bit of a rebound um, for the weekend. There's a lot of 96 rated cards. It just kind of depends on how they value the ultimate team this season. And I know I'm talking a lot about ultimate tots in the market, but League One tots, I mean, I haven't been as active this weekend, but you maybe you guys tell me, 
are you hyped right now for this team this season? I'm almost just kind of thinking I'm ready for the upgrade packs to see if I can get me an Mbappe or Neymar. Um, I'm going to finish my weekend league, try to get three more wins here yet tonight to get that gold three rank. And then, of course, um, upgrade packs. I, I already mentioned that, but there's not too much else to do. We'll get some more player SBCs this week. Um, uh, other than that, I don't see anything out of the ordinary happening. Just a normal week on foot. The upgrade SBCs, some player SBCs. We have a TOTS moments. We have a flashback and a TOTS card. So I would expect probably one more player SBC. And then on Tuesday as well, we will, we will get the um, League One TOTS guarantee. And I'm thinking they're probably going to keep that. Let's go back and look at the team again to look at the values. But I'm pretty sure they're going to keep that SBC pretty much the same value as they have been for a lot of these others. I mean, you have a 5 million coin card, a 7 million coin card, a 1.5 million coin card, and then a bunch of guys that are in that 500 to 600k range. So I think you might see an 85 rated um, SBC requirement and a team of the season requirement again as well. That's kind of the, the what they've been going with. They required informs last week, and that was really dumb for one of the SBCs. I think it was Eredivisie. So hopefully they don't do that again. But for the League One, I'm thinking it's probably going to be somewhere around an 85 rated squad with a team of the season. That's what it's going to cost you to complete the League One TOTS guaranteed SBC. But other than that, boys, it is League One TOTS. I'm just kind of here. I'm just kind of here waiting for Ultimate TOTS, waiting for the upgrades. Obviously, uh, we'll be doing some packs later this week. Um, we're going to be super pumped about that. And I do want to try out some of these cards now that I actually am going to be um, valuing the game and trying the game out a little bit more. I'm honestly not trading too much right now. I don't really care if I lose a few coins on a card. You know, I have a Griezmann right now that I'm trying to sell on my transfer list. It's a fresh Tots of Griezmann that I bought at 2.3 million coins. And he's like, I'm trying to sell him like 100k over his price as a fresh card. I know I'm losing some coins on some of the stuff right now. I know I'm losing some coins on some of these ORs as well. Um, I bought this at 360 and I think he's like 300k. Yeah, he's, he's at 300k right now because of the SBC. Um, and that's just a risk that I took. And that's what happens with trading sometimes. You take some L's um, because of SBCs that come out that you can't really plan for. Um, but again, that's the constant uh, strategy and the constant, you know, what we say theory kind of reigns true. Never panic sell uh, because that OR probably could rebound back to 350,000 coins later this week after week and league rewards. Um, is an investment opportunity? Totally, for sure. It totally is an investment opportunity. Um, but... Um, since that SBC is out, that really hurt his price. Um, but again, I'm not really trading too much right now. I'm doing a few quick flips here and there, and um, mostly just waiting for the upgrade packs to come out every week um, so we can smash those because that's what we, we traded for, that's what we grinded for this year is to get those upgrade packs um, and to get um, all those Team of the Season cards from those packs. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.